The mountains of North Carolina's high country have served up scenic splendor and outdoor recreation for hundreds of years. But these same mountains have also supplied inspiration and materials to generations of homegrown artists. At the same time I'm pushing in on the side, I'm pushing down on the top. In his workshop on the outskirts of Blowing Rock, Glenn Bolick carefully creates his next practical masterpiece. See, each time I pull it, I'm making the walls thinner. After marrying into a family with a long pottery making tradition, Bolick has become a well-known ambassador of authentic high country art that visitors can take home with them. There's just not a lot of hand-built stuff here in the mountains anymore like there used to be. and I think that's one of the things that has a good draw is it's locally made. Over in Ashe County, two struggling country churches literally became the canvas for a then unknown North Carolina fresco painter named Ben Long. But the artistic depictions of the crucifixion and last supper that Long painted here in the 1970s have since touched thousands of souls and changed the fates of both the artist and the walls he painted. Not only did, did these churches then suddenly become destinations for people from all over the state and all over the country, but also Ben Long instantaneously became internationally renowned. People come here because it is an expression of the Appalachian culture, the heritage, the arts. Um, it, it just touches a lot of things. That Appalachian culture and heritage find their way into many artistic expressions in the high country. From the music that echoes through Sparta during the Allegheny Fiddlers Convention, to the mountain clogging performed several times a day at Tweetsie Railroad. I do not believe Tom Dewey to be guilty. And the true local story of love, betrayal, and murder acted out on an outdoor stage every summer. Even if you've heard the Kingston Trio's classic song, the dramatized tale of Wilkes County legend Tom Dooley will leave you wondering who really killed poor Laura Foster in 1866. Well, there's something for everybody. They've all heard the stories, even if they're not from, you know, necessarily around here. They've probably heard the song, and uh, and so now they can learn the story. And it's beautiful out here, especially at night yeah. with the lights and all the costumes and and everybody, you know, doing their little thing and. It's, um, you kind of get lost in it. But visitors to the high country can be more than spectators in the region's art. They can participate in seminars and workshops at the Appalachian Summer Festival in Boone. They can sign up for a class at the Florence Art School just off the Blue Ridge Parkway. Or they can browse through the wares of dozens of artists at Blowing Rock's Art in the Park and take home a masterpiece of their own. Because here in the high country, art is as plentiful and as beautiful as the scenery that surrounds it. For more on the art of North Carolina's high country, log on to www.visitandseehighcountry.com.